Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to talk about some Steam game news and updates. Uh, a game's early access has been recently suspended. Now, it's not a game that I am particularly into. It's Enlisted Reinforced. It was in early access uh, from Gaijin Network and, um, you know, they put out a statement and I just find it a little interesting as far as how they rolled out this statement. Maybe I'm making a mountain out of a molehill and I probably am, but I'll go through it and one element of the uh, suspending early access note that I just do find a little bit comedic, so we'll talk about that. Also do want to talk about the next Like a Dragon title, and it looks like an update for that uh, will be coming sometime in the future. Like, I think we're a ways away given that Infinite Wealth just came out, but we'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, suspending early access on Steam for Enlisted Reinforced. Dear players, we see that many of you are very dissatisfied with the early access version that we made available on Steam. Some of you are not happy that the game is bundled with a paid DLC on Steam. Some of you couldn't link your existing Gaijin.net accounts to the Steam version due to technical issues. We're deeply sorry for this. We've removed the early access version of Enlisted Reinforced from the Steam store for now. All users who purchased the Steam access pack for Enlisted Reinforced Reinforce will be able to continue playing the game via Steam. Meanwhile, we will do our best to assess what we can do to address the issues raised by you. Unfortunately, there is a significant technical obstacle preventing us from making the linking process smooth enough. It occurs if a player has already linked their Steam account in another Gaijin.net game, but the email used there and the one used for Enlisted do not match. This completely breaks our linking procedure. The existing Steam version was never intended to be available to a massive number of players, hence the early access status, so making it available to existing huge audiences of enlisted fans could probably lead to even more dissatisfaction, as more play people would face these technical issues or new ones. We'd like to apologize once again for letting down both our existing players and the ones who wishlisted the game on Steam. Please follow the news on our website while we continue exploring our Steam options, looking for a solution for linking an issue and polishing all aspects of the game. The game did have a mixed reception on Steam for the duration that it was available 180 reviews 56 percent positive and the game was a free to play and uh yeah it is kind of crazy the top review is kind of wild um and the negative reviews in general are kind of wild scammed because it's free and gaijin um again it was bundled in with a paid dlc so they were kind of marketing it as a paid game uh while it was free to play on other platforms. The wildest thing to me is that they are opening up the apology with what seems to be an AI generated image of a cat looking sad in a military helmet. I I am just so bewildered by this. I don't know how they thought this would be a good idea. I don't know. I just think this looks incredibly tacky and it looks AI generated. I don't know if this is something that I don't, they created themselves. Looks absolutely AI generated. So I don't know, maybe step back on that if you're gonna do an apology, maybe, and like, even if this ain't AI generated, just having that image there in the first place, I just don't think is a good idea. And the fact it's AI generated, like, I just think it looks incredibly tacky, and I just don't think, if you want to do an apology and be taken seriously, and it does look like it's a serious in tone apology, just wouldn't be opening uh, the apology with that kind of uh, image. It just looks very... I don't know, it just doesn't look like you're taking the audience seriously when you're doing stuff like that. Maybe, again, I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. I probably am, and it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't in the grand scheme of things. I just think that, you know, developers, publishers, if, if somebody's watching this video, and, you know, it does surprise me sometimes with the emails that I get that there are developers and publishers that randomly come across my videos, but uh, if you're gonna do the apology thing, you know, maybe don't do this. And a lot of you guys, a lot of you big-time publishers, you already know how the game is played. You just release a broken product product and then a day or two later you put out the apology you already got this down to a science like you know the game's trash and you know the game's uh, the, the game's port's broken you release the game anyway you have people buy the game a bunch of mixed reviews come in mostly negative reviews come in and it's sitting at like 53 percent mixed reception and then you put out the statement you guys got this down to a science all you devs and publishers out there yeah most of you already know how to play this game but for those of you that think that using ai generated imagery like this i i don't know it just isn't what i would do personally but next up like a dragon's next title has announced cast auditions and it has been noted that it's not Yakuza Kiwami 3, a remake of Yakuza 3, uh, but it is said that Kiwami 3 will be happening at some point. Publisher Sega and developer RGG will hold cast auditions for the next Like a Dragon uh, title series. Director Masayoshi Yokoyama announced on the latest episode of RGG Studio TV. 
According to Yokoyama, the new title is not Yakuza Kiwami 3, but I'm just gonna say, I think we'll do a Kiwami 3 at some point. I think we'll definitely do it sooner or later. Please do a Kiwami 3 at some point, given that... Yo, it's nice to get into Yakuza, but after you play Yakuza Kiwami and Kiwami 2, and then you jump into Yakuza 3, like, a franchise is supposed to evolve sequentially, and I get it that Kiwami and Kiwami 2 came out after 3, 4, 5, whatever, but you go back and you play Yakuza 3, and it is just so dated in some elements, and hopefully they'll do Kiwami 4 and 5 because you want to, you know, ha experience the entire story trajectory of Kiryu, but it's just... You know, a little bit of a fall-off after Kiwami 2, let's just put it that way. In terms of the games being a little dated, but what can you do? The game is from whenever it came out. It was an early PlayStation 3 title, I want to say, or a midlife PlayStation 3 title. Um, it's not that old, but uh, the games from that era just do show their age. That's why games from that era have been getting more and more remakes, like the Dead Space remake that just happened. But the next RGG mainline title, like the next mainline Like a Dragon title, you would think it would be a game that this one would center entirely around Ichiban, not to get into spoilers for Infinite Wealth. I don't even know where they want to take the series uh, as far as from a narrative standpoint, but each Yakuza game kind of is its own contained story. Like, if you play Infinite Wealth, obviously you have to work your way through each game, but they all end with a bit of finality, and you're like, okay, this arc is over, where they want to take that next arc, I don't know, there's definitely things that uh, I'd like to see explore, Ichiban is a character, man, we just, protect Ichiban at all costs, that's what I'm saying, yo, Kiryu, you had your run, it was a good run, but like, yo, for me, Ichiban is that dude, and I feel like Ichiban is the kind of guy that, especially, like, as we're getting older and older, um, Ichiban's, like, a super relatable character. Obviously, it's, like, super outlandish, and Yakuza is just, just an outlandish game, but a dude that's just dumb as hell trying to figure it out in the world. I think that goes for a lot of us. You know, a lot of us in our mid to late 20s, we're just dumb as hell trying to figure it out in the world. And obviously, Ichiban he goes through some crazy adventures, but I feel like Ichiban's story is just fantastic, and I just... I want to see more of him and the rest of that cast, and obviously, I do want to see more of Judgment as well. I hope that RGG has been working on a Judgment title. I don't know if they have, but um, it would be great that in between Like a Dragon, uh, the next Like a Dragon game and this one, Infinite Wealth, that just came out, we would get a new Judgment game. I don't know if they're going to do that. It would make all the sense in the world, but they haven't announced anything like that, and... Um, the fact that they're saying they're going to do Kiwami 3 at some point, uh, and they do say definitely do it sooner or later, maybe Kiwami 3, given that it's not going to be this big investment as far as development time, that these like Dragon games, these games are getting pretty freaking big, and you're talking about four-year windows between the games, that Kiwami 3 would be a quicker turnaround, so to speak. It wouldn't be quick, but it would be a quicker turnaround than, let's say, the next Like a Dragon game. But I would love it if the next major game from RGG was Judgment 3. Want to go back into that story uh, as well. And that game, that franchise has got some great characters, and I would like to keep both styles of RGG alive. The beat-em-up style of gameplay, and then also uh, this new RPG style of gameplay where it's really a turn-based RPG that's, uh, you know, very, very good. I mean, these games are really great, but you know, it'll be interesting to see where the franchise goes as a whole. I just hope that, uh, you know, Ichiban is still at center stage. And I feel like he will be. I feel like, you what, You've, we've only gotten two games out of Ichiban at this point. Here you got, like, an absurd amount of games. And I get it back then. Games were quicker to develop. Games were quicker to turn around. And uh, it's not like Like a Dragon. These games are massive. Uh, absolutely gargantuan. And the older Yakuza games were lengthy as well, if you did all the side stuff and whatnot. But uh, with Like a Dragon Infinite, well, that game is just, it's kind of daunting how much content is in that game. And uh, I would imagine the next one would be very similar. But at the same time, you've got a lot of the fundamental gameplay aspects already built. You can parlay that over, but we'll see where they go. Hopefully, Judgment 3 is next. Fingers crossed on that. But that'll do it for me. Again, interesting as far as that Steam Games Early Access being suspended. I just think they handled it a little bit questionably. As far as Like a Dragon goes, it looks like they're casting for the next uh, major titles. Cast auditions are going on, and uh, hopefully that game will come out, you know, in a few years from now. But the next game from RGG would love for that to be uh, Judgment 3. That'll do it for me. Again, your thoughts down below as always. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.